The Golden State Warriors have rebuilt Andrew Wiggins into a star. Okay, I'm not even kidding. You'll be seeing this one clip replaying multiple times. It's the one-handed step back over Chris Paul, I believe. And if you guys don't know, he took that from Penny Hardaway. That is the Penny Hardaway. Shout out to CJ McCollum for tweeting that. I was like watching that. I was like, as a Magic fan, you, everybody knows that. That move was Penny Hardaway's. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you guys agree with me? Andrew Wiggins, the difference in him tonight and... If you want to compare two days ago against, I believe it was against the Clippers where he, Clippers or even the Suns, if you want to say, like the Suns and Clippers game, he was kind of a different animal. And for the season, I mean, this guy's a 19 points per game score, 37%. But let me tell you why. Andrew Wiggins is different. He's been rebuilt, okay? And Wiggins is, it's different. People might like tell you like, what am I talking about, okay? But what I want to say is this is a team that Andrew Wiggins is a monster. And I, I truly believe that Andrew Wiggins is a guy that people need to understand that he's a guy who will continue and continue to get better, I believe, if he's being harnessed this way. I think what we're seeing is Steve Kerr, Draymond Green, all kind of nurture. Nurture, sorry that that just went on. They're trying to nurture him right there. And I think what we're seeing is, is like, hey, he needs to be shown, have confidence put into him and be like, look, you can do it, Andrew. You can do it. There's nothing stopping you except yourself. And if you can, if you can figure that out, I think the world you know, is his oyster, if you want to say. And I think that's something people don't realize is like such a big part of a player's development is that the defense, he first off, he's rebuilt himself first defensively with the Golden State Warriors. People won't believe me, but like really Andrew Wiggins, when he first came here, he was a shot blocking guy. And as more and more time passed, he showed his ability to be more than just, you know, this guy who was a failure as a first round pick. He's not even a failure. Like a lot of people call him the worst first round pick or the first overall pick that isn't a bust. And I think what he is, is he's an energetic three and D menace that any team would like to have on their roster. And I think people are being disrespectful when they say Andrew Wiggins is a bust. I mean, he's better than you. He's better than me. Hey, uh, I love watching his game. Watching him develop into the player he's become is something phenomenal. And he's a guy where he picks and chooses his shots. I mean, sometimes when he's feeling himself, he'll shoot a mid-range or a floater, which, you know, isn't the best shot. But right now, he's just taking threes and he's dunking again. I think something that he lost was that aggression, that fire, that passion. And now he's found it again. He's found it. He feels like, hey, I can make an impact with my athleticism, first, I do want to say Andrew Wiggins looks like he's never lifted a, a pair of weights. I on it. Can someone tell me if this is true? Andrew Wiggins looks physically looks exactly the same that he does when he was drafted. Okay. But with that being said, I think he is a phenomenal basketball player who, I mean, the Warriors might be at this point the most likely team to win the NBA championship. Okay. Like, they are that freaking good. Like, it's it's pretty ridiculous when you watch them. You're like, why are you guys this freaking good? Like, man. Okay? It's, it's kind of annoying. And you're just like, stop being so good. Okay? Stop it. Nobody wants this. I'm just kidding. Everybody wants this. Or anybody who enjoys basketball. And I think it's just a testament of how good of a coach Steve Kerr is. How good this coaching staff is. And how good of players that they're just harnessing our man and just telling him like hey like dude don't worry like you can still be who you were supposed to be you know and don't feel pressure that you're gonna have to keep doing stuff that maybe makes you feel fake I just feel like he's a guy that people don't realize is honestly phenomenal like second to none in athleticism and the things he's able to do on the court with that athleticism, I just think it was just he needs to put them, 
he needed to put his mind to it and i think now with the people around him here in golden state he's been able to do that for the first time in a very long time i think is what we're seeing okay and that's the best part about it is like him hitting the three-point shot i think that was the thing that people wanted to see that if he could finally do and i think he's shown it i want to hear your thoughts